Oh, hey, everybody, this is Brian with Modern Day Computers, and today, no review. This is a preview. Uh, it is February 24th, 2017, on a Friday. Woo! Uh, this past Monday was President's Day, and I had the day off, so I went out to my local international market, Jungle Gems, and uh, Jungle Gems International Market is basically you name it, they have it. Uh, they, you know, they go so far as duck feet to uh, pig's head, sheep's head. You know, they they basically cater to almost every type of person that is willing to cook every kind of animal and snacks and stuff. But I bought. Uh, several bottles of soda pop. Now you you might be uh, thinking, "Whoop de do?" Well, these are you know these are the ones uh, that are creative soda pops, or what I call in Cincinnati just pop. So I have a seven of them, and first two are you know a good laugh, and the last five are uh, political. In nature, so for all, and I'm going to say right now that for those of you who are um, very politically motivated, especially for those on the right side, you may not like what I'm going to say. Though I won't refer to your guy. I don't like him. I didn't vote for him. I voted for her mainly because. The person I wanted wasn't on the ballot. So, <clears throat> but, uh, you'll, you'll understand where the joke is coming from. So, first one is a pink liquid. These are made by the, uh, let's see, Rocket Fizz, R Rocket Fizz Soda Pop and Candy Shops. In Camarillo, California. And this is a pink soda with the name of Martian Poop. It is a Marion Berry flavor. Now, I don't think that they refer to the former mayor of Washington, D.C. from the 90s who got busted for cocaine use. I don't know if he's still alive. But, uh, I just figured, you know, drink some Martian Poop. Yay. Yummy, yum, yum. And then for uh, and then for another group, this is a purplish, light purplish liquid. This is radioactive soda. Woo! Taken directly from a, radi from a uh, nuclear plant. I wonder if it's Chernobyl. But uh, you know it's mulberry flavor, and I'm and we'll see what it tastes like later on. Uh, this is just a preview, so uh, there's there's nothing that I'm going to uh, make or uh, I'm not going to open right now. So now we're going to get into the political ones, but these are not in any way focused on America. I wish one of them did, but they come close, but they are not. So the first one is an orange soda and uh, with a terrorizing taste. That's what it says on the bo bottle because it is nuclear orange bomb. And that, my friends, is a picture of the now deceased Kim Jong-il. Uh, and recently, within the past uh, week, uh, I believe his son, which is Kim Jong-un's half-brother, was murdered with what is now known as VX uh, nerve agent. So, whether or not, so that's all the details we know. You know, we don't know if it's if North Korea took it out, but you know. With a terrorizing taste, you know. Of course, now that now that that happened, it kind of takes the fun out of it. Oh well. 
but it's still nuclear orange bomb. I wonder if they, I wonder if, how pissed they'll find out what, that uh, this uh, company is making money off of their dear leader. And so the next one is a yellow liquid. And this is banana flavor, and this is Fidel Castro's Havana Banana. And it's so good, you can taste the revolution. Woo! So, yeah, that, so it's old picture of Fidel Castro when he was alive, because, you know, as of this recording, he's been dead for a few months now. And so, you know, why not? Uh, next one is... I'm going to say a cola, you know, regular kind of, uh, you know, Coke, Pepsi type thing. I'm not sure. I don't know what it is made, but uh, pure cane sugar. And it's called Seal You Later. Because it's, and it, this is close to America because it involves Osama Bin Laden. Knock, knock. Who's there? America. The end. So... This is a killer taste, especially to Osama Bin Laden. But he's already dead, so... Uh, look forward to trying that out. Yeah, we'll find out later. And then the last two are both, uh, you know... The, the country of origin has been in the news recently, so... Uh, Technically, in our time period now, it's not what it used to be, but it's close enough. And the first one is called Leninade. And it's Get Hammered and Sickled. This is not alcoholic, so... Uh, taste worth standing in line for... Wow. Uh, Misha, chill down this bottle and chill out. Drink... Drink, comrade, drink. It is, it's this or the gulag. And then they give the ingredients and surprisingly satisfying simple Soviet style soda. Try to say that ten times, five times fast. Uh, beware the repressed communist party animal who is, beware the, uh, sorry. Beware the repressed Communist Party animal who is really a proletarian in denial masquerading as a bourgeois Cold War monger. And get really hammered and sickled. That's what it says on the back with a picture of Len Vladimir Lenin chugging a bottle. And learn about sodas from realsoda.com. Made by real soda in real bottles. Limited. It's a real bottle? Wow. And they want you to join the party. So. And. So. We do. I wonder if. Uh, our. President would enjoy this flavor. Because if it, If not. He could enjoy some red soda because where you have Leninade, you have something that could be, well, a little bit worse, uh, depending on how you define worse, and that's Stalinade. So let's see, it is Chernobyl brewed, which technically doesn't make much sense because uh, by the time Chernobyl exploded, uh, Stalin had been dead for. Psh, 30 years, but, um, and it's the real red soda, as it says on the top, and something that I'm sure the president would, uh, really enjoy is a secret KGB flavor. What that is, I don't know. I'm willing to try it out, though. So, maybe this is his favorite soda. Mm, you think? But, that's as far as I'm going. If you're offended, I'm sorry. Actually, no. Just don't worry about it. Just laugh and walk away. Walk away. Learn how to laugh. 
So, um, yeah. Stalinade. And it's not, and, you know, I, it's not any coincidence that I'm wearing a red shirt. You know, I, I don't, I'm not part of the Communist Party or anything. I just like the Reds. I live in Cincinnati. Sorry. So, seven bottles that I will make individual flavor, uh, flavors, individual videos on later on. So, I just wanted to give you a heads up. And so, you know, subscribe to me. Please hit that like button because, you know, that way I'd love to be able to, uh, you know, get some reaction. And, you know, leave a comment or two. Nothing hateful. You know, that's the only reason why I did not vote for him. Because, you know, I find him hateful. And his followers seem to be hateful. That's it. that's the real reason. So, so, let's all be nice. Can we? You know, take a joke. <laughs> so, yeah, you can. Yeah, if you want to leave comments like, oh, you're too fat, you know, darn. Yeah, that ain't going to work. I can block you. So. so, thanks for watching, and thank you for hearing from my... Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going too fast here. Thank you for hearing my rant, and have a good day, and have fun, and geek out, everybody. I'll see you later.